Okay, this is Mr. Barr, and we're going to look at some linear equation word problems. A bunch of these problems and so many problems in life can be done with a guess and check method. I am cool if you solve things that way, but you better go back and check to make sure that your answer works. Now, I'm also going to show the algebraic method on these because that's sometimes a better method when the problems get harder, but we can do a guess and check on a lot of this. Remember, if you're going to be taking notes on this, you need to write down the entire problem into your notes. I don't want just answers in what I do. I want you to actually have the problem. Here we go. Let's see if I can make that big enough. Doc. Ariel has already jarred six liters of jam and will jar an additional four liters of jam every day. How many days did Ariel spend making jam if she jarred 42 liters of jam? Okay, I guess, um, did I miss liters? Has already jarred six liters of jar jam. Okay, so we're dealing in liters. Let's think about this. I'm going to pick a variable. What am I looking for? What am I trying to solve for? Am I looking for jars? Or am I looking for days? How many days? So I'm looking for D. Days. Here's my equation. How many jars does she currently have? Six. Plus. Ready? Here's the algebra. In one day, she'll do four more. In two days, she'll do, what's that, two times four. In three days, so right, she'll either do one times four, she'll do two times four, she'll do three times four, four times four, this is how many, these are days, right? In one day, two days, three days, four days, how many would she jar or can in D days? D times four? So six already, the number of days times four gives her 42 liters of jam. I am not going to solve that equation because I think you can solve it, but I will give you the answer so you can check your own work on this. What is that? Nine days. I'm getting this to be nine days. Hopefully that's correct. Well, is that right? Nine days. Four per day, four times nine is 36, plus an extra six that she already did takes us to 42. That works. When ringing up a customer, a cashier needs 20 seconds, 22 seconds to process payment. So she needs 22 seconds just to get the money, as well as a second to scan each item being purchased. If it takes 45 seconds to ring up a customer, how many items are being purchased? What am I look excuse me, what am I looking for? Is it talking about money? Dollars? What am I looking for? How many, how many what? Items. So we'll use a big capital I for items. Let's we'll think about this. How much would one item cost? If she buys one item, what would happen here? Well it'd be twenty two seconds. I just use the word cost and I. It's not about cost, it's about items. 22 seconds plus one item. 22 seconds plus two seconds for two items. 22 seconds plus the time for I items. So if I is three, it's going to take 25 seconds. If I is something, it's going to take 45 seconds. 22 seconds to start with, plus one second for every item, gives us 45 seconds. How many seconds for the items? How many items are right there? Solve that. What's that going to be? I equals subtracting 22 from both sides. 30. What's that? 30. No, 20. 23. Ariana has already baked 11 cakes. She can bake four cakes with each additional stick of butter. 
She buys. How many additional sticks of butter does Ariana need in order to bake a total of 95 cakes? What am I looking for? Cakes? Sticks of butter? A lot of money? I am looking for sticks of butter. What's our variable? You want to go with S? Right? One S will get her four cakes. Two S's will get her eight cakes. Three S's will get her 12 cakes. S times four gets her how many, as many cakes as she needs, right? So this is the, what's going on. Where S is some unknown. Is it one S? Is it two S's? Is it three S's? So S times four. How many cakes does she already have? 11 cakes to start with. This is how many more cakes she can get with a stick of butter. She needs a total of 95 cakes. Solve it. S times 4 equals subtracting the 11 from both sides, taking it to 84. Solving that, S equals 21. All right. That's it for word problems. We'll be working on these guys in class a lot. You know how I like to take 20 minutes or so just to work on stuff? We'll be getting into these word problems a lot. That's it. Bye-bye.